beloved september 23rd 2018 at dawn the lord began to speak to me about how we must have all sin confessed before him in order to be ready for the final test i was told that every sin that comes to our memory from the past is one that is not properly confessed and forgiven it is not just asking for forgiveness i was instructed but asking for forgiveness with a contrite and humble heart and with genuine repentance and turning away from said sin and not looking back this is the time to do it i was told the holy spirit if so you desire and ask will remind you of all your unconfessed sins and you will have in your mind an exact scene of that moment with details to be able to realize said sin and to be able to confess it as heaven demands before god this is the final work that christ jesus is doing in the most holy place of the heavenly sanctuary i was told and it is time to get on account so that we can endure the hour of testing so at that moment i asked lord my finite mind how can i know if i am already totally on account with you then it was let me know that as these sins are forgiven we will no longer remember them by grace and mercy of his name then at that moment i exclaimed hallelujah blessed god holy holy because your ways are just and true then i was told remember and he began to give me a list the holy spirit will knock on the door he must be allowed to enter he will convince them of sin and judgment he will work in whom lets him enter in genuine repentance your sinful life will pass as a film before you all so that you all recognize that i am god and i know everything and nothing is hidden from my presence accept the rebuke with a contrite and humble heart and confess it and turn away entirely only in this way can you be accepted and forgiven and before the fire you will not be consumed but it will refine you and thus you will be able to obtain the victory because i will be able to dwell in you all and you all will be my special treasure forever the final test is now coming he told me and my work is almost finished blessed is he who trusts in me blessed is he who puts his hand to the plow and does not turn back blessed is he who is not afraid to call sin by its name blessed is he who is loyal to god rather than to men blessed is he who leaves all that the world offers for the kingdom of god blessed is he who takes up his cross and follows me blessed is he whose only thought is to do my will blessed is he who is mistreated and hated for my name blessed is he who loves being hated blessed is he who struggle for the good to do with all his might blessed is he who hates sin but loves the sinner blessed is he who meditates on my law ordinances and statutes blessed is he who lives in my presence blessed is he who brings the word of my patience to this world even though this rejects it blessed is he who is persecuted without any cause for whoever does so will inherit the kingdom of heaven he said to me then do this and you will live blessed god for his love that love and his fidelity that we do not deserve that being sinners christ died for each one of us beloved when i woke up i was happy to know that a god so infinite and exalted and sublime is so great in mercy justice and love and imparts it to each one of his children 
blessed the eternal God forever. When I woke up, dear brothers, I was given three verses, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4, Micah chapter 4 verse 8, and Malachi chapter 4. May the Lord grant that each one of us can be on account with God, with a God so beautiful, so merciful, so sublime, so exalted, a God who does everything and tells us everything we must do so that we can be accountable to him. His love we do not understand. It is too big. Our heart is softened to know that such an infinite God has compassion on each one of us that we do not deserve it. Only his love and his grace is what reaches towards us so that we can, if we are true, faithful, thinking beings, rational beings, hold on to that love and not let go of it so that we can pass the final test and be with him eternally, live with him eternally in the heavenly homeland. It is my wish and prayer that each one of us can get there. We can be more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, not for us, only him in us. May the Lord bless you all.